Hey guys, Ranchin here, bringing you all another Stark of Commentary. This is going to be the fifth and final set between White and Jadong in the Big File MSL semifinals. Holy crap, this has been fun so far. Now it's going to be the fifth and final set on Polaris Rhapsody, the Terran Haven. But will White manage to beat Jadong on it? We'll see. Four, three, two. One, go. Jadong, one of those guys that just defies any and all odds. Uh, so Light has gone through powerful Zerg players to get here. Roro, um, efforts in the last one. And, you know, going through Jadong would really stamp a little, ex an, an extra, give him an extra badge of, hello, I am superior to Zergs, something like that. Really, you know, just add a bit boost to his uh, TVZ superiority. How good he is in the matchup, and he has shown very that he is very good in the matchup because, it, it you know people say, oh my God, Mech is so imba, so imba, but you really need skill to be able to back it up and use it well. But anyway, this is Polaris Rhapsody, two-player map, of course. Eleven o'clock position, we have the White Zerg Jerong. Five o'clock position, we have the Red Terran Light. And really just looking forward to see what they decide to go for. i um, not expecting too risky play from any of these guys. Either of them. Uh, White last time went for a 14cc on this map. Well, because he's just going to build the supply deep inside of his base rather than go for a wall in. But I'm wondering if he's going to try to go for this time. I think he's going to try to play safe. I hope he's going to try to play safe. Just go one Rex in Expo. Seems like the safest thing to go for. Not trying to do anything crazy. Well, on the opposite side, I expect Jadon just play standard 12 hatch. Play, just maybe go for 12 hatch, mute a build, and try to put on some early aggression. Just out expand his opponent. Just expand, 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 expand. expand, expand. I can't stress it more than that because uh, turn players on this map really love their little box. Their main, their natural, in this case, light, main, natural, and the two 3 o'clock bases, the mineral only and the gas expansion. And those are the two bases, the little corner that the turn players have to start working on their mech. They have their little corner and from that they get their mech. And, and they're very strong with that. Light is putting up his command, uh, his uh, barracks inside of his base. Drone is going to come in here to get a scout it seems. Just going to float down there. Hey. Yeah, they technically do kind of float or hover or whatever you want to call it. And no supply, uh, no sp spawning pool yet. Just an extractor should be seeing the spawning pool momentarily. There we go. Spawning pool on the way. Well, we do see the barracks coming up, and I'm expecting White to go for Mech yet again. Don't see refinery quite up yet, but probably going to put up this command center before he does that. And really needs to play a very safe, safe game to win here. He really needs to be very careful in that. Jaron going to get in here, going to spot everything out. Wondering, he could even steal the gas, just to make sure there's no crazy mech stunts coming at him. But it seems like he's just going to go out there with a the drone and maybe try to harass the natural expansion. There is an SCV with a Marine there, so the drone is not going to be able to be as harassing as well as the last game. Jaron really, it's a beautiful drone micro, deny the command center for an age. But this time he's just going to come up very safely. But Jadong, he's getting the full scout. Know what's happening. He saw it happening right under his nose. And uh, seemed like there was a halt in marine production. Wondering where the white will put up his refinery and try to go for mech. Meanwhile, getting his SCVs get in there. Spotting the spawning pool timing. And spotting the lair coming up as well. So that's some early information for him. He knows about the natural and the main. Sees the timings. Know that it's just a t standard two hatch. Two base, two hatch. Uh, mutable from what it seems. As a few minutes went on the map. Could not quite there to kill an overlord. Can't uh, be in a position to kill an overlord, but still trying. You know, you try, you try. You be careful when you try. A CV meanwhile gonna go inside Jadon's base, spotting no production hatching, nothing like that. Continuing to produce some marines so far, but also adding in his refinery right now. And do see an academy come up here, acting as a blockading building at the front of all things. Um, you know, like, they make supply depots for that. Just, just as a piece of advice. Just a clue. <laughs> yeah. So if he's still staying in there, not going to be able to get up. The Rab, how did they take that hit? Did that drone miss or something? As if he's staying alive, try to get up this ramp. Not going to be able to do that. Yeah, trying to. Of course, the best case scenario is to spot to see what happens after the lair is up. And with that, you really have the optimum level of scouting. But using his academy and supply depot at the front, so I don't know, he might transition into medic marines, he might use a transitional build, start with medic marines, then transition into mech, uh, kind of start off with medic marines, uh, then go bio mech, and then transition fully into mech. I've seen that used as well. It doesn't give you the strong, fully upgraded mech army. 
It really doesn't, but still, we're going to see what he decides to do. Uh, a lot of Zerglings. Seems like Jadon going to try to go for a bust here. Light is, sees that this is happening. A lot of Zerglings just running out there. CV's going to come up flying. He's going to try to break up the ramp. Yeah, CV's got to be blocking alongside some of these Marines. Light needs to get some more. He's working on his upgrades now as well from that Academy. M one medic going to come out as well. These Zerglings are now going to start attacking the Academy. And all this, if he's going to be pulled off the line for Might, this might be the exciting factor right now. The Academy at the front, I hope that doesn't come up to bite him because you need those upgrades. If the Academy goes down, that's a significant loss of resources right there. As if he's at the front trying to still uh, instill some fire on that, trying to, to repair the Academy, he wants to be very careful to be defensive. Not mining at all at this natural, but he needs to fight back this heavy Zergler pressure because Janox is continuing this. One fire bat on the ramp as well, getting, it has a second barracks there, he needs to continue producing force of a couple of these fire bats. will definitely help him out. He's going to try to run around and do some damage here. The command center also taking some fire and meanwhile I can't really focus on what he's doing back home has some SCVs that are not really mining much at all meanwhile I'll spire on the way for Jadon beautiful transition here he, oh my god, this is what happens when Jadon becomes angry. Now, White's been focusing so much on anti-ground attack. Has Nibe on the way, but he's going to be so late with it. The turrets are going to be so, so late, and he doesn't really have the troops. And Jadon won't really have as large a Mutas camp. We'll probably have four or five, but they're already on the way. Six Mutas. He's sacrificed drones and everything just to get some Mutas out there in the light. Seems like he's in a lot of trouble. His engineering base ages too late. There's Zerglings at the front as well. And unfortunately for White being forced to get these fire bats, I just don't think he's at all going to have what it takes to fight off these Mutalists. Five already. Six on the way. And I think Jadong with this will make Light pay dearly for his early, for his second and third set losses. So Light beats Jadong in ma two long macro games, but it seems like every single one of Jadong's wins will be within 15 minutes. Mutal's gonna come in here, not nearly enough minute range. Light just desperate to try, hold back as long as possible, get some turrets going. Zerglings at the front though, I don't think there's gonna be any of that. Firebat's gonna go down, and there you see the face of a hopeless man of a man without hope. He's desperately trying to get bunkers and turrets up back home. Has some of his marines in there, but the mutalists will have none of that. Bunker comes up, but there's nothing doing. More turrets trying to come up. The bunker will go down as well, and everything inside of it. And Jadong losing in two half-hour matches, torturing us. And then two quick games. So there's a strategy to win on Polaris Rhapsody. Win within the first 10 minutes. Ah. <laughs> uh, ah. Uh, Jadong, Jadong, Jadong. Jadong, Jadong, Jadong. That academy is going to go down. That command's going to go down. Light not being at all allowed to play the game he was hoping to play. Kyot completely off guard. Not with enough defense. And unfortunate for him, he's just going to now going through every scenario in his head. What did I do wrong? What should I have done differently? What, what, what? Jadong has sacrificed humongous amounts of economy for this. So even if Flight were to keep one base going, he still have a semblance of an opportunity to get back into this game. But having enough to fight this back, I'm not so sure. Zergling's coming in to take out the turrets on the ground. Just not enough. Jadon continuously reinforcing his mutalist, and these turrets are all going down. One turret left, and only two marines to fight, and that's just not enough. These marines with no medic support, go and with no real number of marines, go down instantaneously. Most of the CVs have gone now, just random zerglings streaming in to take part in the glory fest. And we are yet again guaranteed a third in a row flash versus Jadong finals. Sad day for Light fans. Oddly enough, you probably would have gotten crushed in the finals by Flash anyway, but that's beside the point. We are, we are yet again uh, invited to the festival that is Flash versus Jadong this season. Light, of course, this being the last set, not willing to GG, but his economy is in shambles. Everything is in shambles. He has Zerglings in front of his barracks and no defense at this point. No way to fight any of this back. His barracks way too far off, and anything that comes out of him gets taken down. One barracks can go down, the second one will take them internally. Now he has his his lower lip out. I don't want to lose. I don't want to GG. No. G. G. I am so sad for. Ah, oh, so sad for this guy. Fighting Jadong back in two grueling macro fists. 
hoping to get himself into the first Star League final of his career. And unfortunately for him, Jadong, despite beautiful play overall from Light, Jadong coming out the victor. A part of me dare say I'm disappointed, seeing as Light actually one of my favorite Terran players. But I will not be disappointed once I'm sitting here casting Flash versus Jadong in the MSL Finals. Jadong out there to prove that no map imbalance will stop him, and we'll see a lot of fanboys loving that. He wants that golden badge. He lost, he didn't get it last season, but he wants it, wants it, wants it. And interestingly enough, semifinals, no need for anti spoilers. Well, hey! Uh, so both see the, uh, the, the twin headed giant, C and the light, getting stomped on by Jadong here, unfortunately. But there you go, guys. Now you know your finals, so sit there and get pumped. Uh. While I sit there and hope for some proper videos to bring you uh, after, uh, after this weekend. So, GG guys, hope you've enjoyed the semifinals. One single thing left, and then this season is over. GG, ranching out, this is Sting. Hope you enjoyed.